Hello everyone, so in this video let us talk about one more easy problem from lead code. The problem name is water bottles. So the problem statement goes like this that there are a num bottles, water bottles that are initially full of water. So there are some water bottles that you have that are initially full of water that is stated as num bottles. You can exchange num exchange empty water bottles from the market with one full water bottle. So let's say that you have this amount of water bottles that are filled. Now you use them or whatever reason they are empty now. So now you have this amount of same number of empty water bottles. Now let's say the exchange rate is three. So what you can do is that for every three empty water bottles, you can again take a full water bottle. So what you can see that I have nine empty water bottles. So let's say the exchange is three. So convert it to three full water bottles. Now I again take three full water bottles. I, I drink them and then I got three again empty water bottles. I just again exchange it with one. I, uh, water bottle and then drink it and then I have remaining with one water bottle I cannot exchange it so the total amount of drinks I have done is this 9 plus 3 plus 1 okay so this is like 9 10 and 12 13 so 13 water bottles I have drank throughout this whole process of exchanging and drinking water bottle so just have to find out what is the maximum number of water bottles that you can drink throughout this process now you can pause this video and try to think over the solution of your own as well but what you can directly understand from the overall idea is that First, that the consumer is pretty small. Okay, so you can do this in a very good first way also. But what we will you do? Whatever it is asked in the problem statement, we will first take that how much total number of water bottles that you will be drinking out, just make it a variable out of it. Okay, then you have some filled water bottles. So for filled, you can directly drink them. So the total will increase. Whenever you got filled, similar number of empty water bottles will be created. And for empty water bottles, you just have to tell, like, like ask how much of filled water bottles you can get from the empty water bottles. Okay, so you can again get the fill portable and, and now you have again fill portable, you will do the same uh, while loop again again. So you will keep on doing the same while loop until you have not much like drinking like, uh, like full water bottles available with you. If you, have, if you have full water bottles, you will drink them, put it inside the empty water bottle container like or you can say some garbage value and then like you will keep on doing this iteration until you have no more full water bottle to drink. From which you can create an empty water bottle and that is not so much got, like not much sufficient to create one more full water bottle so that's the point that you will break out that's the logic that you will be using out i don't think so uh the overall diagram here is much more predictive of what we will out because i don't have to do anything else i just have to do this okay. so let us move on to the code part and if you have any doubts you can mention in the comment box of this video so what we have done is the total number of water bottles that i will be drinking for this whole process is total. now current full and the like current full like what is the current full i have is the total number of num bottles okay so i have i have initially started this whole process with what is the current full number of water bottles i have this is the num bottles and current empty i have zero because i'm not drinking it now i'll just started this while loop until i have some current full i have some amount of full water bottles i will keep on doing this one what i'll do i will first amount of water bottles i have i will first increment in total because i've drunk drank the, those water bottles so i have increment that in total now i have uh, incremented my total what i'll do now this water bottles because i've drank them will become empty so what i'll do is i will take this current full and add it into empty current water now current empty current bottles will be added with this amount and because i've did uh, like drank drank all of them now i'll make my current full amount of zero like because i've transferred these empty water bottles to this variable that is current empty now i'll make my current full equal now i have some empty water bottles what i'll do i will try to exchange them how much full water bottles i can get I will just take how many current empty water bottles I have divided by the current like num exchange. Like what is the exchange rate? So let's say I have nine water bottles and at the exchange rate is three. So nine divided by three is the total number of water bottles I will get. That is nine divided by three. That is three water bottles I will get. That is the total number of water bottles I will get. So current empty bottle bottles I have divided by the current like the exchange rate. Let's say num exchange divided by that. That's the total number of bottles you get. And you will just add it again into the current full because now you get again water bottles out of that so you will just add that inside of that and now how much empty water bottles are left so let's say that the exchange rate is three and you have let's say 11 water bottles so 11 water bottles you can only make three water bottles by exchanging with nine empty water bottles because let's say nine empty bottles can be exchanged with three water bottles but now you have two water bottles that are left you cannot exchange them because for exchanging you require at least like three water bottles and you have only left two so how much are two that are left you just take the whole number mod it with the exchange rate so if i divide this i will get total number of water bottles that i got and if i mod this with this value obviously i will get the remainder remainder means that after dividing how much remainder or how much left how much empty water bottles are left that are not much sufficient to convert it to a complete filled water bottle 
and that is I should carry forward in the next iteration also because maybe in the next iteration I got sufficient amount of water bottles that become empty and I can use them. So don't make them. I have not at any point just make it zero or just equal to that value. I have all like at every step plus equal to which that I will carry forward these things in the later iterations. Maybe it might be helpful in the later iterations. And now again I have filled my current pool with some water bottles. I will keep on doing this value until I have some full water bottles because if I have full water bottles, I can empty them. If I'm empty, I can again create water bottles. So I will keep on doing that until I have sufficient amount of water bottles to create new water bottles. If I don't have that, then again, the current pool will become zero eventually. This value will break. In the end, I have the total number of water bottles that I have drank throughout the process this way. That was the logic and the code part for this video. If you still have any doubts, you can mention down in the comment box of this. I will see you in the next one.